ones that are for sure out. Um, Tank Dell got a concussion, left the game. He'll be in concussion <laughs> protocol. Very rarely will they mm -hmm. let a guy play um, the week after a concussion. Even if he goes through protocol, um, that's what it is. Um, Anthony Richardson, AC sprain. So we talked about what a separated shoulder is. If he has a high-grade AC sprain, that would be basically a second um, a uh, separated on. shoulder. On his throwing arm. So Ugh. this is the difference um, between Ouch. a high-grade and a low-grade. High-grade, you can shoot up, a la Devontae Adams, a la Derek Carr. You can shoot those up and kind of make it work. If you have a, a more than just a grade one. Oh, I can only imagine the pain after the game, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, Devontae Adams, after his the they had the post-game interview with him, and he was like, yeah, I'm, like, in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> just so everyone, like, it hurts, but I'm, like, uh, doing what I can. But he's going to get second opinions, which usually means someone's decided surgery, and he's like, I don't want that. Um, again, all speculation, but it seems like he's going to be out a couple weeks. He might go on IR. I'm not sure. Speaking of IR, Justin Jefferson did go on the IR. He's going to be out four weeks. I could see this being a six weeker and considering his, you know, contract history of not getting paid, mm. um, and they're like losing a lot. I don't see a reason for him to come back anytime soon. I wouldn't be surprised if this is just lingers throughout the season he just starts missing games he could come back and if they aren't, don't aren't winning when he comes back he might just shut it down 